Kyle Reifers, professional golfer. I'm here with Taryn Jansen, and we're talking about the shorty club here that I use to uh, practice while I'm at home, Just while we're in our living rooms or uh, trying to get better watching golf on TV. It's, it's a great way to practice our uphill and downhill lies. Um, we can use this kind of, if we have limited space or in a big gym with a group, any, any way is a great way to use it. Um, this is a great technique where there never seems to be a flat lie on the golf course. This can simulate an uphill lie. It's a great, uh, great technique and you can kind of, you know, go both ways and follow through. So this is a great way to use it. This can also simulate a downhill lie uh, where our weight is more on our left side. We're doing some other uh, techniques that, that I use to practice, uh, not only with a golf club, but with weights that uh, show the multi-purpose of this, uh, of the slope. So here's a little twist that I like to use. That can kind of be more of the upper body or the back swing. And then here's the other way, which can simulate more of the follow through. So you can also do, there are numerous things that instead of just your normal uh, flat lies and everything, but we can do squats, we can do both sides. You can kind of do both, both ways, both uh, legs. And here's another exercise as well that I like to use. You can kind of open up your whole upper body and see as much. You can kind of inch your way out with your hands as well to get go as far as you're comfortable with. But uh, this is a great way. Once you get up when you're done with this, you'll feel great. Here's a nice stretch for our obliques with the uh, slope, which is a great one to kind of open yourself up, especially before in the evenings or something when you're done with a long day. This is just a great stretch. You can kind of hang out here for a little bit. And uh, these are some of the training tools that we use at uh, the top level of the game, and they've really helped me out. So if you go to cardiogolf.com, I think they'll help you as well.